Hello and welcome to battle number 71 of Battle of the Beasts. We are etching ever so closer to the final of which will be in round 7, which seems quite far away, but when you find out how many battles will be in round 5 and round 6, which are free, it's actually not that far. It's just 6 more battles to go. And then the final. So yeah, we're really close now. Um, and this is... Crestor the Crushing Terror versus Serpio the Slivering Shadow. One is a beast that is really strong, really agile, and has the power to summon a certain element at will. The other is Crestor. <laughs> Crestor um, in round one killed Stealth, round two it was Komodo, and round three Lustor. Two no, one really strong beast, one weak beast, and one beast I'm honestly surprised made it through to round two. Um, and Serpio in round one killed Tecton, a rather strong beast. Round two, Slivka, a rather strong beast. And round three, Silver, debatably my biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I, honestly, I honestly see Serpio winning more times than Silver. I'm not going to go back to it though because everyone already hates me for it. Um, the larger beasts out of these lot are Crestor, and um, <laughs> yeah, and that is pretty much all for the summary. Um, the battlefield will be an icy, rocky area. I'm trying to combine them together, so slippery ground, but rocky rocks everywhere as, as well. So yeah, let's get into this. As both beasts exit from the chambers, Crestor leaves through the front door. Serpio takes the sky door because he's a and show off. <laughs> he um, straight away sees Crestor and shoots an ice beam from his eye and tail going straight towards Crestor. Crestor counters that by shooting acid from his spikes, dissolving the ice beams immediately in enough time for him to move out of the way for the ice to just hit his chamber door. Uh, Crestor is prowling around to find a way to get to Serpio and he, Crestor gets the idea. He shoots acid up into the sky for and Serpio starts dodging them very agilely but that was just a diversion for Crestor to pick up a rock and chuck it at one of Serpio's wings. It hits one of Serpio's wings breaking it clean off. Serpio plummets, I mean Serp, yeah, Serpio plummets to the ground um, right in front of Crestor. Crestor, using both of his hands, picks up Serpio by the head with his um, mouth shut and um, flings Crestor around from side to side like the Avengers think. Crestor really likes doing that apparently, doesn't he? I think Crestor done it in round three as well. Swinging around from side to side, hitting him against the ground and um, throwing him to the other to the other side of the arena, well, to the to a wall of the arena, don't know where, furthest, closest, I don't know. Um, Serpio using his one, uh, just slivers back up to Crestor after getting himself and turns at the last minute for Crestor to get cut in the, to get cut, let's say, on the chest area by Serpio's one remaining ring, wing. Crestor reels back in pain and slams his hand or claw on the ground pinning Serpio's wing there and using his other hand picks up Serpio by the chest and rips that wing clean off and chucks Serpio away. Crestor spits acid out into the sky from his um, spikes for Serpio to dodge agilely but as he's doing that, he's slivering up towards Crestor. Crestor sees that and uses his head to just hit Serpio again, knocking him to the side again. Um, I did... Uh, pause, pause, pause quickly. Time out. Uh, I did promise to Lucas that Serpio's death will end in a pool of crimson. Uh, or Serpio's next battle will be in a pool of crimson. Whatever I said. Um, whatever he said. But I did say, well, I didn't really say anything, but I was just thinking, how does a snake made of ice have blood? <laughs> um, okay, back to the battle. Uh, Serpio, uh, winded and trying to regain himself, 
get uh, regain self just see Crestor storming straight towards um, Serpio, and um, he shoots an ice beam straight towards him, uh, freezing both of Crestor's ha hands to the ground. Crestor doesn't mind though, and just shoots acid from his spikes, and the acid lands all around for Serpio to dodge. Uh, but also lands on the um, ice to melt it, and using the remaining, using his strength, just breaks out of the um, ice as well. But whilst Crestor was busy doing that, Serpio jumps up, was able to sliver up to under Crestor, and uses his tail to, well, his spikes on the back on his back to s cut at Crestor's stomach, chest area where blood starts gushing out, covering Serpio completely in blood. Um, Crestor reels back in pain, moves back, and uses his head to just smack it down on Serpio. Um, as an ice beam was coming towards, as ice beam was going to Crestor's head to freeze it, it does freeze it, but Crestor was, was already in motion, slamming his head down to the ground, basically using Serpio's own weapon against him. It crushes Serpio, but Serpio is still alive. Crestor uses his um, claws to pick up Serpio's tail and um, pick him up, hanging him upside down. Serpio shoots an ice beam from his eye to hit Crestor. It hits um, just the neck area, freezing that over. Crestor uses his other hand to just smash it, though. And Crestor uses his claw to just slash at Serpio's chest, his weakest point. Serpio howls in pain and recoils up and is able to bite at Crestor's arm that was holding his tail. What Crestor does is howl in pain and chucks him up into the air, uh, letting Serp having Serpio slip his grip out of Crestor. Crestor shoots acid up into the sky and it hits Serpio, melting parts soon completely. As Serpio's crashing down, Crestor shoots up another load of acid that goes right past Serpio, dodging him, but Serpio crashes down to the ground and doesn't have enough time to move as the rest of the acid starts pouring down on him. Serpio, very weak and very dissolved, covered in blood, um, is too weak to move. Crestor puts him out of his misery by um, having one claw on his tail, one claw pinning his head down and using his head just smashes his head repeatedly into Serpio's chest, smashing it, killing his heart. Crestor has won this battle and Serpio has lost. Uh, for Lucas and Imperius Rex mainly, because I know they actually hated the fact that Silver died to Serpio, I hope you're happy that um, Serpio died like that. I gave him the most brutal death I've ever given a beast. <laughs> Uh, as I promised uh, Lucas, he would be in a pool of blood in the next battle. You didn't say whose blood though. And Crestor was able to um, survive from bleeding out uh, by having the last few minutes of that battle go really quickly, basically. Basically, after Serpio cuts his stomach, Crestor didn't show any mercy. Picks him up, hits, uh, picks him up chucks him into the sky, shoots acid, dissolves him, makes him crash down to the ground, shoots more acid, dissolves him again, and then pins him down and smashes his head into him. That happened, I would say, if this was an animation, within one minute. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was actually really fun. <laughs> I like that battle. Anyway, that is actually the end of this. If you think Serpio should have won, please leave in the comments below why you think that, and, um... You will get people that won't like you for that, but I won't be one of them because I like both of these beasts actually. Um, anyway, that is all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the corner below. And I'll see you in the next battle, which will have Carnivora, the Winged Scavenger, versus Noctilla, the Death Owl. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.